Hello, I'm Richard with ev for You Custom Conversions. In this episode, we're going to talk a little bit about batteries. Not about the batteries themselves, but about installing them in the vehicle. So what I have right here are 12 of our Calib CA Series 100 amp hour cells. And so there's going to be 44 of them in our Porsche 912 project. 20 will go up front under the bonnet, and 24 will go in the rear in the engine bay. Now, why am I showing you 12? Because this represents half of what has to go in the engine bay. And that's what's got to go on one side of the motor. There's going to be two saddle racks, one on either side of the motor, and so there will be 12 on each side. That then will make up our 24. So I have to figure out how to configure 12 of these to fit on either side of the motor. It's pretty symmetrical in the back there. We have uh, basically the same amount of room on both sides of the motor. So not much of a challenge there. So if we figure out one side, we've figured out both. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some measurements. The way I have it set up right here is I have two rows of six. And let's see what kind of uh, dimensions that have. And let's see what we have in the rear to work with. And let's see if this is going to work. Okay. What I have here is about 11 and a quarter. We're going to need room for our battery rack, the frame, which is going to be made out of eighth inch uh, material. And then we're going to put an ABS liner all the way around this, which is going to be three sixteenths of an inch thick. So we need to accommodate for that. We need to remember that that's added both uh, to each side and front and back. So um, we'll take these measurements of the cells themselves and add that to it. So I've got 11 and a quarter across. And 15 and 3 quarters length. OK. So once we measure the dimensions of uh, our potential layout or proposed layout, we're going to add 5 eighths of an inch to that. That's that 5 sixteenths on each end. So if we add 5 eighths to our length and our width, will be uh, what we need. And so what we come up with with this particular configuration here is 11 and 3 quarter inches by 16 and 3 eighths inches. So let's go to the uh, engine bay and see uh, what kind of room we have. Well, here we are back at the engine bay. And so we were going to need 16 and 3 eighths for length. Let's see what we have right here. Well, if we go to the uh, front of our adapter, It looks like that would take us right to the back of our, uh, our plate right here. That is from the front edge of the adapter to that plate, we're right at 16 and a half. So that looks like that'll be doable if we can squeeze the width in 11 and 3 quarters. Well, there's 12 right there. That brings us right up to this, uh, just beyond the gasket. If we go to the edge of the gasket, we're at 11 and a half. 
So there's 12. The body up here, that's 12. So it looks like we'll clear, but it's going to be tight. Let's check the other side here. Yeah, it looks the same. Looks the same. So at this point, that's 15. So you know, it looks like it's going to fit, but it's going to be fairly tight. One of the things that we want to keep in mind is that we want to keep the batteries low and we're going to put them as far forward as we can which will mean going up uh, you know in this area probably to the front side of the uh, um, bill housing here we got to stay back behind our shock mounts and our suspension travel we don't want to go too low that these things hang down and um, one become a clearance uh, problem or a, a visual issue. We don't want them to hang down and you see them uh, from uh, the, the side or the back of the vehicle. So it's a kind of a balancing act here to, to do all that. We want the weight as far forward as possible. We want the weight as low as possible. And um, we'll see how we can make that work. So the other dimension that we need to kind of take a look at is the height of the cells. It looks like we can do the cells um, in that orientation that we looked at on the workbench. But let's, uh, let's take a look at the, the depth and see what that looks like. Well, our cells are about nine inches tall to give us room for our, our interconnects and bolts. But for the sake of measurements, uh, we'll, we'll look at what, what 10 inches looks like. And so, 10 inches, if we look at our adapter plate here, it looks like it's about 12 inches from this surface on the top here to the similar surface on the bottom. That looks like 12 inches. So, 10 will be good. It will run a straight edge from the bottom edge of that motor across and see where the 10 inches falls in this area. See how tight we need to tuck it in. So this is just kind of a rough look at it right now. We're actually going to um, kind of stand the batteries in place and, and see how they fit um, to get another visual. Um, but right now we're just kind of measuring to see if it's even doable in that configuration. So let's go look at what some other configurations look like. So what other, what, you know, what are some other possibilities? We've got 12 cells, so we can do, do uh, something a little different here. We, we can do two rows of six. We can do three rows of four. So our height isn't going to change when we do this. So let's see what uh, what we get here. So now we're at ten and a quarter. And sixteen and three quarters. So sixteen and three quarters puts us longer than we were before. 
but it puts us a little narrower than we were. And so what you want to do is you'll go back and take a look and see, you know, if this is going to fit better than, uh, than your first attempt. So we know we don't have enough width to run it, you know, the other way. It's just too long. But, you know, this gives us uh, ten and a half. Um, plus the five eighths, that puts us at eleven and an eighth total. So that's smaller than the other way. The um, three quarters. So this would be seven and or seventeen and three eighths length that we'd have to have. So, you know, some, something to think about there and what we might want to do. The other thing that you want to look at when you're looking at the big picture of configuring how you want to install the batteries is, is remember how you're going to have the interconnects. What's a convenient way to run all these? Where are you going to have your your um, your cable come in from uh, wherever it, it's coming in from or going to. You got to remember that one. You also want to remember the uh, we have saddle racks, so those you know everything's in series. So we're going to have uh, a cable go from one saddle rack to the other. We're going to have a pack in the front. So we're going to have a line going to and from the front. So kind of we want to have this big picture in mind also while we're doing this. There's more than just dimensionally fitting these into the vehicle. How is this going to best uh, fit into the big picture? And so that's where we're going to put this on paper. We'll do some uh, careful measurements in the back. And then we're also going to like I said, we'll set these cells in there. We'll put some uh, uh, little stands underneath, a uh, little shelf, so we can actually put these in the vehicle at the height we want and lay them out and see how they fit. Because measuring is one thing. Being able to see it is another. I'm a visual person. I'm going to draw it, and I want to see it before we start cutting and welding. All right, here we are at the rear of the vehicle, the engine bay, and we have our cells up on uh, some cartons here to put it at the height that we want to uh, test. And so you can see I have the three rows of four and that's about as far forward as we can go right here because this comes down right here, this is a piece of metal. So we really can't go any further and have room for our battery frame and so forth. Uh, we're over pretty tight to the um, adapter. We can actually move over um, a little bit to the uh, side out here. We've got plenty of room. So we can do that. We've got clearance in the back here. No problem. So like I said, we could probably move this whole thing over a little bit. If I can get it to do that, it's not going to go easily. So there we go. So we've got room there. There we go. So now we are away from the motor adapter a good ways. Um, our tightest point looks to be right here. But again, we have room to come over still. So 
we will move the whole thing over a little bit more outboard and that gives us plenty of room there and so that looks good we can come down from our mount here things line up pretty good and attach to our cross member here we'll have to come up with a uh, mount in the front here but it looks like we've got room to do everything with our three rows of four and that's the height we want things we don't want to come any higher and we don't want to go any lower we want the weight as low as possible and so we can see the cells are at the same height as the lowest point on the motor The camera perspective doesn't show, but they're they're almost identical. So there you have it. And of course, they'll be in a battery rack that is black, surrounded with black ABS. You'll never notice anything. So that gives us one saddle rack. We're also going to probably move it up just a hair. Moving it to the side, it kind of came back a little bit here. We can go forward a little bit. But that gives you an idea. Let's see if I can get a straight shot looking down. So, it's harder to get a perspective with a camera than it was, is with your eye, but give you an idea of how things are falling here. Okay. Okay. For those of you that are visual like I am, here we have one side with the three rows of four and the other side with uh, two rows of six. And right away we can see that both work. <laughs> so now it's just to determine which we like best. You can see the, the six fit in there just fine. The two rows of six. It's sitting a little bit higher because uh, my platform that I have the two rows of six on just happens to be a little bit taller. But you get the idea. We've got plenty of clearance all the way around so either one will work what will we do well you're just gonna have to continue watching to find out which way we choose to do it stay with us